here is a host uh, variable which I have already defined over there inside the variable of that folder uh, which is localhost 8080 also there is a token uh, which I am not using right now just will use host only so for login and that endpoint I have provided email and password when I request for that it will gives me the token here is the points needs to uh, your attention key ID same two which is very important every request needs authentic authentication from a uh, crack side it will check the key ID inside the header and then it will match with the backend so that's very important now next I will copy that token also uh, there is endpoints which is open is give me data if I will pass a photos and it will also giving me data because I have already entered token so if I will pass a wrong it will gives me validation error of unauthorized and similarly if I will pass correct token it will gives me a data like that so for now you need to check the login side of that and also you can identify the token validity with that endpoint if I will check it gives me unauthorized if I will pass up correct token definitely it will gives me a secure message that I am secure and status is 200 so that's it let's see the config file how it works so first of all you need to check the first dot uh, env file inside of node app there is a GWT secret refresh token secret and these could be uh, base64 encoded and I will pass it inside the public uh, symmetric.json these uh, key uh, ID is actually a base64 uh, encoded which is equivalent to that one okay this is in uh, b64 encoded with which looks like in hashing that so every time request comes to the crack ND, it will call that symmetric.json file uh, and the header of every request is kid and it will match inside that symmetric file and will pick that specific and will match on that so that's the flow of backend so let's close these files and for the go side also there is a secret i have added a similar flow for that as well a symmetric file there is a symmetric file as well uh, so every time request goes same process will be followed for the go service as well so on the next going to open the crackendy.json file the first endpoint is signer which we know is to ignore for now uh, we will see the login endpoint there is a post request extra config contains the uh, chorus configuration we will ignore that also uh, there is a backend URL pattern I, uh, I hope you will be well aware because I have already explained in the previous video method is post and host the backend target uh, URL is that one it will hit API slash login and it will request his post which needs your email and password it will respond to the crack ND so then the response it will gives uh, refresh token and access token so on that endpoint we need to validate either the token is valid or not just ignore it because we will deal the uh, role side on the next video so similarly for validate authentications and 
api photos let's explore that one that endpoints also needs auth validator okay the first uh, one, uh, option is algorithm needed h s256 which i have used so also i have there, there's the comment which needs to ignore also djwk url that specific url which if you will call that in the browser it will gives us the symmetric file so here is a symmetric file every request goes to that and it will match with the key id so debug operation true and security disable zero key security to true so also cache is false also there is an album which did not i have passed any parameters for extra configs for other validators that that's route is open so that's it for the authentication side uh, if you will see inside the photos and we'll pause click on that now the token is expired it gives us 500 error if we refresh with the new cred uh, credential on hitting to the login side it will gives us a fresh token we will pass over there and we'll test with that now it's giving data because the token is validated so that's it uh, for that video